My husband, M30, won't spend time with our daughter, F8 Malio. My husband, M33, and I, F23, just had our first daughter, F8 Malio, in October. We have been together for four years. He is a good dad for the most part. Like I know he loves her very much, but he won't spend time, be involved with her, resulting in her only ever wanting me. He will do pretty much anything I ask of him relating to our daughter. But he won't go out of his way to do it without me asking. We both stay at home and he works on our home most days. But he gets to pick and choose when he wants to work so if he doesn't feel like it, he won't. I cook and take care of our daughter's every need, every day. All of this isn't a problem right now, but I start school again in August. He doesn't know when to feed her, how much to feed her, he doesn't change diapers often, so he doesn't even check when she needs a change. He doesn't even know which drawer her onsies are in. He doesn't put her to sleep for naps or for bedtime either. Granted, I breastfeed her to sleep sometimes. However, I have put her to sleep in the rocking chair plenty of times without my boob so I know he can put her to sleep as well if he tried. When he has tried, if she's not already half asleep and goes down easily, he gives up so quickly and I have to take over. Even if he doesn't give up, I can't let her see me because she will cry and stare at me until I get her. She is very attached to me because I am the one who tends to her every need. Recently, I have told him more than once a day that he needs to spend more time with her and tend to her needs so she won't always want me. His reply is, you made her dependent on you, she doesn't want me. But in my opinion, if he tended to her more, she would want to go to him and not look for me every time. He tells me that she's dependent on me because I pick her up every time she cries. But I'm not going to just let her cry all day. I want to give her comfort and I want her to know that I'm going to be there for her no matter what's wrong. That's her only way of communicating right now and I won't just ignore her. He also likes to bring up studies done on babies and how you're not supposed to pick them up every time they cry. But the studies that I've read have said it raises babies' cortisol levels which can cause a number of problems mentally and physically. I think it's also important to note that we have a very independent baby. She is so good by herself for at least an hour after she wakes up. She only whines and cries if she really needs something like to eat. She hurts herself, she's tired or her teeth are aching. So it's not like he has to entertain her all day or hold her all day even if she has those issues or wants something. Once her need is met, she is okay and will almost always play by herself. With me starting school, I'm probably going to be gone for most of the day and I'm afraid he's going to start letting her cry until she can't anymore. That's why he bring the studies up. I'm also afraid he just won't know what to do because he's not even trying to learn what she likes and how she likes things. Another thing, is that when he doesn't want to actually watch her or play with her, he just puts her show on TV. I'm afraid he's just going to put the TV for her on all day while I'm gone. In my opinion, he should want to be involved in his daughter's day-to-day -day and he should want her to want him. He shouldn't fight me for asking him to be more involved with her. I plan on having a deeper conversation with him because every time I've tried to bring it up, I was trying to be nice and not make it a big thing, but he shuts it down or tells me it's my fault every time so I'm going to let him know it's something that is a big issue for me. I just don't want it to turn into a big argument. I guess I'm asking for advice on how to get him to be involved in what she does every day without fighting me on it and saying it's my fault that she's dependent on me. And how do I even talk about it with him a different way because I ask every day and it's not getting through to him. What would you say and do in my situation? Too long did not read. Our daughter only wants me all the time. My husband doesn't work and has time to spend with her and show her that he can help her as well. He just doesn't. I bring up every day that he should spend more time with her so she wants to go to him as well but he just says it's my fault she is dependent on me. I start school in August and he still hasn't started building a better bond with her or even learning what she needs and wants every day. How do I get him to start being more involved with her so it's not such a hard transition for all of us when I start school? Holy shit. You said he's a good father and legit everything you posted says the complete opposite. He might as well not even be in her life because that's what he is right now. I know he loves her very much, but he won't spend time, be involved with her. Read this again a few times until it sinks in. Because you need to realize that a father who won't spend time with his child doesn't love her very much. Kid, wants you, not me. As a father, this line from shitty dads pisses me off so much.
I've seen and heard this excuse from so many men so that they can pass their child off to the mom while the dad sits there doing nothing but looking proud of himself. Anytime this is said you can be pretty sure that dad does very little childcare. What if you're already using all the right words? You don't have a communication problem. You have a very serious husband problem. Your husband is basically telling you he will neglect your child if left alone with her. What if you took that absolutely as seriously as it deserves? This is something worth fighting. This is something worth taking to couples counseling. This is something where your job as a mother is to turn this into a big argument and not back down until you're confident your child will be safe and have her needs met. In your situation, I would be thinking about the logistics of leaving him if this doesn't change. It's called weaponized incompetence. He acts like he doesn't know when to do things, cause he knows you'll step in and do it yourself. He is a selfish asshole. You need to find childcare for baby while you go to school. Your husband is unwilling and unable to provide care. I'm baffled you state he's a good dad there's more to being a good dad than just not beating the kid senseless, and he does none of them. I don't bit think baby is safe with him at all. Aside from his insistence that neglect is proper parenting, his assignment of ill intent to an 8-month-old is very worrying. If CPS rocks up to a screening baby sitting in her own filth, you will both lose custody, not just him. Her quietly watching TV all day is the best case scenario, not the worst. Grown man dating a teenager is not a good man. At this point I would just tell him to do things since that's the only thing he responds to. Hey, I'm going shopping for 30 minutes. Watch the baby. Her diaper needs to be changed. Go do it. She needs a nap, go put her to bed. Start with small things and short times away and then slowly build up to longer periods of being away. You have until August to get him to step up as a parent. If by August nothing has changed then he has proved that he is a neglectful parent and you need to find childcare.